Hello friends! Today's story is for sure a classic and this book is called Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carl. Let's get started friends! Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. and pictures by Eric Carl. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? Hmm, I see blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a green frog, a black sheep, a goldfish, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a purple cat, a white dog, and a teacher looking at us. That's what we see. A beloved classic now available in a board book edition for the youngest child. The end. What an awesome, awesome story. Until next time, friends. Goodbye. Hello friend, today's story is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Let's get started. For my sister Krista, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out an egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. How many pears? One, two. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. How many plums do we see? One, two, three. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. How many strawberries? One, two, three, four. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. How many oranges? One, two, three, four, five. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Hmm, I think he ate too much food. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... 
He was a beautiful butterfly. Oh, he's so beautiful. The end. What an awesome, awesome story. Until next time, friends. Hello, friends. Today's book is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar Eats Breakfast, a counting book. Let's get started. The Very Hungry Caterpillar Eats Breakfast, a counting book. Mmm, those pancakes look so yummy. It's time for breakfast. What does the Very Hungry Caterpillar eat in the morning? How about one cup of creamy yogurt? Yes, please. One. Some mornings, he eats his way through two bowls of yummy cereal. What kind of cereal do you like? Hmm, my favorite cereal is Cheerios. Yummy. When he wants something sweet, he nibbles through three pastries. What's your favorite sweet morning treat? Hmm, I see a scone, a muffin, and a croissant. Mmm. Does he eat bagels for breakfast? Yes. In fact, he tries four. Two with C's, one that's sweet, and one that's topped with everything. Can you guess his favorite? Is it poppy seed, sesame, cinnamon raisin, or an everything bagel? Wait. Are those onions for breakfast? He snacks on five. Anything can be breakfast when you're the very hungry caterpillar. Let's count the onions. One, two, three, four, five. Five onions. How about some eggs? He tries them six different ways, enjoying every bite. How do you eat your eggs? Fried, omelet, hard boiled, egg in a hold, scramble, frita. Some morning he's so hungry that he crunches through seven pieces of toast, all with different toppings. What do you put on your toast? Avocado, peanut butter, jam, chocolate hazelnut spread, mmm. Butter, cream cheese, and tomatoes or cheese. Let's count the pieces of toast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pieces of toast. Mmm, something smells good. Eight foods cooked on a hot skillet. Some are sweet, some are salty, but they're all delicious. Which one would you like to try? Pancakes, baked beans on toast, biscuit, bacon, sausage, hash browns, French toast, mmm, waffles. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine juicy fruits make a colorful breakfast. He eats through each one. Yum. Pear, orange, strawberry, pineapple, banana, blueberry, grapefruit, cherry, kiwi. Let's count the juicy fruits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Together, the very hungry caterpillar and some friends eat 10 of his favorite foods. Now that they're ready to start the day, what would you like for breakfast? Mmm, everything looks so yummy and delicious. I think I would like the everything bagel. That one looks really, really tasty. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The end. What an awesome story. Until next time, friends. Hello, friends. Today's story is 
the Very Hungry Caterpillar's first summer. Let's get started. The Very Hungry Caterpillar's first summer. Hooray, is summer ready to play? There's so much to explore on a warm, sunny day. Clear blue sky above, not a cloud in sight. The weather is so lovely, the sunshine is just right. It's too hot for jackets and sweaters today. Shorts and t-shirts keep kids cool as they play. The temperature is rising and it's getting hot. Find some shade under trees for a cool resting spot. Hmm, what do you think the girl is reading? Do you think she's reading the Very Hungry Caterpillar book? A gentle breeze blows like a soft lullaby. All is peaceful unless noisy bugs are nearby. Buzz, chirp, click. But these ants march quietly, not making a sound. They smell something tasty. There's food to be found. The lemonade's sour, the ice cream is sweet, and a cold slice of watermelon helps beat the heat. Lunch may be finished, but there's one stop left to make. This day's not complete without a dip in the lake. Splash! Friends meet for a swim, enjoying the sun. Summer is a season of endless fun. The end. What an awesome story. Until next time, friends.